Uh, in fact, it was on uh, also on Friday. I shared a little bit. I was sharing to them that uh, alam niyo yung spirit ng kasinungalingan, the spirit of life. It is common to all, not only those who are unbelievers, but those who also believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Marami siya sa aming Kristiyano ako, pero sinungaling pa rin. Tama yun din. So, sabi ni isang kapatid, okay lang naman magsinungaling. Hindi naman ako nagsisinungaling sa Diyos. Nagsisinungaling lang naman ako kay Sister Divine. Nagsisinungaling lang naman ako kay Pastor, kay Sister Maureen. Okay lang magsinungaling, hindi naman ako nagsinungaling sa Diyos. Hello? A lie is a lie. Don't you know that lying is a serious business? Yes. It will cost you life. If you look, look with me in the book of Acts chapter 5, gusto ko na may pipihan nyo na the spirit of lie is very, very dangerous. Here to not ask you, Malina. Acts chapter 5, verse 3. But Peter said to Ananias, Why hath Satan filled thine heart to lie? So, nakita niyo ulit, the devil put the spirit of lie to all the people, sa mga tao, na tinanggap siyang makapasok. But Peter said, Ananias, why hath Satan filled thy heart to lie to the Holy Ghost, and to give back part of the price of the land, while it remained, what is not thine own, and after it was sold, what is not thine own power? Why hast thou covered this thing in thine heart? Thou hast not lied unto men, but unto God. Nalita nyo? Sabi niya, alam mo ano niya, tinanong kita, this is the thing to, to make you understand. There was a couple, his name is Ananias and Sapphira. They sold their, their property and, and the money that was being sold was being pledged. Na ibigay sa church. Eto na, ibibibit na si Ananias. Nag-operate na. Sabi ni Ananias, sabi ni Peter, nakatayo si Peter. Yan lang bang pinagpintahan. Nilagay ni Ananias, Iyan lang, Peter. Sabi ni Peter, Thou hast not lied unto me, but God. Mayroon sa sinabi dito eh. And Ananias, hearing this word, fell down and gave up the ghost, and great fear came unto them that hear this thing. Alam niyo sa NIV, sa Acts, ito sa NIV. Gusto kong parang mong intindihan mo natin. Acts chapter 5 the verse, the verse 4 Did it, it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, was not the money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such thing? You have not lied to men, but to God. So right after, sabi niya, okay. Ay, yan ang sinabi mo. In verse 6, then in verse 5, When Ananias heard this, he fell down and, ano yan sa kanya? And died. Namatay ko si Ananias. Ito pa. About in verse 7, about three hours later, his wife came in, not knowing what happened. Peter asked her, Peter asked her, tell me, is this the price you and Ananias got for the land? Yes, she said, that is the price. Ang asawa ni Ananias, katutsawa niya rin, sabi ni Ananias, pag tinanong ka ni Peter, yan lang pinagpentahan, sabi ko yan lang. Yung tinanong na siya ni Peter. Peter asked her, How could you agree to test the spirit of the Lord? Look, the feet of the man who buried your husband 
are at the door and they will carry you also. At that moment she fell down at his feet and died. Mr. Mercy, Mr. Dewey, lying is a serious offense. Kaya yung mga sanay na magsinungaling. You are in great danger. Because the judgment of God is already coming. How many of you want to be set free from the spirit of life? Huwag tayong mahiya ako, dalawang kamay. See? Because a spirit of lie can come quickly if you will just a small crack in your life, it can enter into your life. Maaari na sa trabaho ka, ba't ka na late na divine? Madam kasi traffic, di naman traffic eh. Na pinahari kong busy. Nagsinungaling ka na doon. Hello? Lie is a lie. And that's the strategy. So how can we be set free from the spirit of lie? The book of John chapter 8 verse 12 says, You will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Sabihin mo nga sa katabi mo. Mula ngayon, starting today, sabi ka na ng totoo. Tinder mo sa mata. Wala na yun. Start it today. Start telling the truth. Amen? So, how can it be? You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. In John chapter 17 verse 17, para ko maintindihan natin paano man lumayas yung spirito ng kasinungalingan sa amin. John said, Sanctify them through thy truth, and thy, and thy word is truth. Dibig ko. Sabi ng loob Panginoon, Sanctify them by the truth. Ano yung truth niya? Thy word is truth. If the word of God dwells in you, it is easy for you to tell the truth. Hello? If the word of God does not dwell in you, it is easy for you to lie. Because there is no reverential fear of God. Diba, Sister Juby? Sabi na isang kapatid, mula noong natin ako dito, nang laging Bible study, hindi na ako nakapagsinungaling. Bakit? The word of God dwells in her. That's the secret why you cannot lie when somebody asks you something. But if, pag sinabi sa'yo, nandiyan ba sa'yo, ano? Kumari? Wala, hindi ko alam. Pero nagtatago lang pala. Kumari ka rin. Hello? You are laughing because it's true. And if we keep on lying, we allow the enemy to enter into our lives. Amen? Alam niyo ba kung sino yung tatay niyo kapag nagsisinungalin kayo? Bible says, The devil is your father when you give on lying. Hello? Now, balikan natin yung scripture natin sa 1 Peter. Mag-umpisa pa lang tayo. Hindi pa nagtuturo si Pastor. Nag-on-trip pa lang tayo. Hello? 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Binigyan ko lang ngayon ng foundations para maintindihan natin how does the enemy works doon sa mga tao na inaalaw ang, mga, ang spirit ng devil to come inside of them. Now, in verse 8, be sober and be vigilant. Dito ko sa NIV version, ang sober dito ay, ang transcription is, 
be observed, controlled. 